So today's video, we're going to go over two different tips with working with motion graphics within DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. This was actually inspired by a support email that I received. They wanted to know how to take the Luna callout pack, which is just a bunch of callouts that are uh, pre-made and have the callout start in the middle of the shot. Uh, the other thing that we're going to go over is how to have motion graphics that are uh, applied in this way not be affected by the color page on in DaVinci Resolve itself, but you're going to be adding in the motion graphic on uh, the Fusion page. In most situations, uh, if you were to take something into Fusion, you're going to be doing some type of compositing. So let's say in this case we have a bridge. Maybe we want to make the bridge on fire. So we would add that compositing in. We would color match it to the original shot as best as possible to make it fit the scene. And then later down the road, we would have a colorist then apply a color grade on top of everything. And if you're working with motion graphics, let's say you have white text, you're not gonna want that white text to be affected by a uh, color grade that you're applying. You want that white text to stay white. So that's the other uh, side of this that we're gonna be going into. So let's first add in one of these shots onto the uh, timeline here. And let's say we want the uh, call out to start in the right here, right right as the car's coming on. Now, like I said, this can be any type of pre-made uh, template that you might have, uh, but we're going to be working with the call-out pack today. So we wanna start the call-out pack. Let's say we're gonna be uh, tracking the bus and, and doing a call-out there. So we're just going to cut it. We're just gonna use a razor. I have mine uh, as a keyboard shortcut, but we're going to then cut it here. And then all we would do is if we go into Fusion now, what we'll see is we're just gonna have in and out points right here. So it's, it's gonna start at 38 and it's gonna go to 331. Now that's not going to be beneficial to a template that is made that the animation starts at frame zero. Um, there might be some that auto adjust and stuff like that, but in this case, they don't. So what we would want to do is we want to have this particular shot start at frame zero. And the easiest way to do this, we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to new fusion clip. It does a couple of things in the background, but the big thing that we're gonna be able to take away with this is we're going to be able to start at frame zero, but we're still working with the shot where the car or the uh, bus just comes in. And if we click on clips, we can make sure that we're on the right one. You can double click down here to see the names. And then we could go in and let's just add in one of these callouts real quick. Don't really wanna make this all about the callout, but there we go. Now we added that in and now we have a callout applied. If we come back over to the edit page. Now we can see that we have that callout applied. But like I was initially saying, once we go over to the color page and we add on a grade, we can see that these yellows or the whites are being manipulated by the color grade. Now I'm don't think you're gonna have this harsh of a color grade, but you get the whole thing here is that now we're kind of affecting that and this is a motion graphic, so we probably don't want to change the colors that we previously set for it. So how would we set it up if we didn't want it to be affected? Uh, very simply, so we'll just grab that same clip here and we'll do the same sort of thing, have it start right there and then have it go to, let's say here, we could bring this up and turn this clip into a fusion clip, right? So now we will have the whole clip down here and maybe we just, uh, you know, do something like that. The other way that you could do this is you could take the clip before you uh, cut it up. You can hold alt and make a duplicate by dragging up. And then the second clip on the top here, we could cut and we could come down here, click it, highlight it and cut it here. Then turn this into a fusion clip and we can clean up the clips later. But now when we go into fusion, and we add on that motion graphic. Now this can be for anything. You could add a whole, you could build your own motion graphic on here, but let me show you the one thing that you're gonna wanna do once you have that motion graphic made. So maybe you're making something custom here, right? So you add all of your nodes on, and instead of applying it on top of, so this is our shot that we have the media in, and then we're applying everything on here where we can see the whole uh, animation here. Instead of doing that, we're gonna take our whole animation that we have, and we're gonna go right to the to the uh, media out, which then we have the whole call out here or whatever uh, motion graphic that you're making and it's transparent. So what ends up happening then is all the transparent uses the clip below for its data. So now we have all of that on and 
Um, if you're using one of these callouts, the other thing that you would have access to is if you added in a tracker, we would still have the ability to track things here, right? But then we're just not feeding that out to the media out. So you'd still be able to do all the tracking stuff that the pack talks about. But now we have everything applied on here. And if we come over to the color page, uh, one thing that we'll be able to do is that clip below here. It, or let's actually clean this up a little bit. <clears throat> and we can remove this and remove this so we're not uh, adding color to the wrong clip here. And now we'll come in and we can see this clip here. We can add in that crazy color grade that we had before. Now when we come over to our uh, edit page, we can see that we still have our pristine whites and our reds, but we're still adding color to that clip there. So hopefully that helps you in your project that you're working on. Just a couple of few tips to help you out with adding motion graphics, pre-made ones, or if you're adding in your own and not having them affected by the color page. So with that being said, hopefully you got something from this. Let me know in the comments if you did or didn't. And with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, guys.